Friday, May 21st. The moon is in Virgo for the majority of the day. It is going to go void, of course, around 4.56 p.m. Again, Atlantic Standard Time, be void until 10.36 p.m., at which time it is going to jump into Libran energy. So there's nine moon aspects taking place today. We have the majority of them taking place while the moon is still in Virgo. There's a couple of things that I want to talk about here. First of all, when we switch out of the heavy, earthy, overly critical, overly judgmental, nitpicky energy of Virgo and transition into Libra, it is a nice change, although it is a dramatic one. We are going from the lowest earth element to the highest air element. Air is a mental plane. It's thinking. It's processing. It's collaboration. It's social. It is connecting the dots from our physical experiences in the mental plane. This Libran energy wants us to find balance. How do we find balance? By knowing where it is that we're living in extremes. It wants to find peace. It wants to find harmony. How do we do that? We recognize where our lives are not peaceful, are not harmonic at all. So while the moon is still in Virgo, it will be squaring Mercury, which is its ruler. This is a tension in the mental plane. This is a mental block. This is us hooked up on very, very difficult obstacles and challenges that we can't seem to get past. And we are confused as hell of how the hell we are going to get past this, where the detour is going to come, where the break is going to come, where the path forward can even continue. Because at this particular point, we are so close to the brick wall in which we are currently facing that we can't even see that it's only four feet wide and we could just walk around it, right? The moon will also be opposing Neptune. This is going to really create a pressure in the mental plane, a want, need, and desire to escape our thoughts, to escape our emotions, to escape our realities. Our intuition is going to be very strong, meaning we are going to be hypersensitive. There is going to be an emotional discord taking place within us because emotionally and mentally, we are very rooted into the present moment. And of course, Neptune and Pisces pushes us beyond the physical realm into everything else that is spiritual, that is metaphysical, that is cosmic, that is divine. And we're going to be very confused about that because the Virgo energy is very realistic and the Neptune energy is anything but realistic. And so we are going to feel the push and pull of that particular energy throughout the day. The good news is, though, the moon, still very much in Virgo, is going to try and Pluto, which means that there's an information session coming into the mental plane, likely when we're banging ahead off of that uh, brick wall I just spoke about. We hit our head one too many times and suddenly something shifts. We feel a transformation. We feel a perspective change. We have an aha moment. We recognize, holy crap, this wall is only four feet wide. We can just walk around it. Oh, look, there's a ladder leaning up against the edge of the wall. Let's put the ladder up and crawl around it. Again, this is in efforts to get our heart and our head in agreement. It is something that absolutely necessarily has to happen before we start getting this eclipse energy shaking us up like a snowball. The moon in Virgo also makes an aspect with Mars, and this is going to be super frustrating. We are going to be highly triggered. We are super, super pissed off at ourselves that we did not see that the wall was not very big. We that we missed the fact that there were ladders just scattered around that we could have crawled over six hours ago and saved ourselves the mental anguish that we just put ourselves through all day. We're a little bit pissed off and frustrated. We actually want to just take the ladder and bust it off the brick wall. Okay. Mars is not happy. And, you know, we're making a transition here where things have to get extreme in order for us to find our balance. And speaking of balance, when the moon moves into Libra, that very airy, beautiful, peaceful, balanced, grounded, fair type of energy makes an aspect with Jupiter right out of gate and then trines the sun. This means that the emphasis on where balance, peace and harmony is absolutely needed, will be over-exaggerated, likely indicating that we might lose our shit with that brick wall, with the ladder. We might be frustrated with ourselves, with our thinking process, another reason why we need to escape, 
why we need to take a time out, why we need to ground and center before doing anything else. So outside of the moon aspects, the sun will be squaring Jupiter. This is going to give us a fresh, clean slate in the mental plane right before bedtime, likely going to add to some very interesting dreamscapes. Now with Jupiter in Pisces, we can, ex we can expect our dreams to get a little bit cray cray. We can expect a lot of unconscious healing to come through in our dream state. But the sun, newly in Gemini, squaring Jupiter, which is a tension point, is going to kind of show us where we need to balance ourselves with our egoic, logical thinking and with our higher self and intuitive feeling. This is going to feel overwhelming because Jupiter is involved. There's too much here. It's either too much logic or too much intuition. It's too much of the present moment and too much of the future vision. It's too much reality or too much dreaming. We have to find a balance. We have to find a center point. Now, this could also lead to an over boost of confidence without clarity, right? Because Jupiter, if you tap into the Ju Jupiter energy, that is exaggerated. That is big. That is overwhelming. But if you tap into the Jupiter energy, it means you're not tapping into the Sun and Gemini energy and the Sun and Gemini energy is logic, practicality. So you might feel good, you might feel confident, you might feel bold, you might feel you know, highly intuitive, highly connected to a meaning, to a purpose, but you're lacking clarity because of the egoic logic that we need in order to bring it into our physical realms and vice versa. So this could be emotional empowerment and then we lose it. It could be hypersensitive and then we feel nothing at all. It could be wanting, needing, desiring to escape our reality and then recognizing that if we aren't in the present moment, nothing will ever change and nothing will ever get done. So it is going to be a dramatic and drastic type of access of energy that we are playing with here today. And again, we need a little bit of time to settle into this new dynamic. Uh, again, the sun newly in Gemini, Jupiter still fresh in Pisces. This is a new aspect. They haven't done this in a while, 12 years to be exact. So this is a new fresh energy, a fresh, you know, uh, perspective that we need to go through in order to grow and expand our mind, our mental plane, our thinking past our old programming.